Shalom and welcome to our episode of Living Supernaturally. We hope and trust that uh, the series of Taking Responsibility is speaking to you and helping you conduct yourself and learning um, on how to deal with your responsibilities. The last two days we spoke about how we need to be responsible for our own conduct, responsible for the well-being of others. Today we look at how we are called to have responsibility towards the Kingdom of God. God has given us as believers a responsibility towards the Kingdom of God. Jesus writes this in Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 14. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Jesus called his disciples to be salt and light of the world. Both of these metaphors symbolize how Christians should influence the world. And this is a responsibility for us as believers in this time here and now to be the salt and the light of the world. As a believer, each of us are expected to live by God's purpose, by being the salt and the light of the earth. As salt is used to flavor some of your food, believers have a responsibility to bring about the flavor of Christ, to be a witness to the world around. We are called to influence the world for Christ. In being light of the world, it means we illuminate the light from Christ to the world so that we can be a light in a place of darkness. We shine the light of the gospel in a place of darkness. When, we, when you and I live under the influence of the Holy Spirit and in obedience to Christ, we will inevitably influence the world for good, just like salt has a positive influence on the flavor of the food that it seasons. Our influence as a believer must be like a light in the darkness, in the sense that the truth of the Word of God brings light to the dark hearts of sinful man and that our deeds must be evident to all, for all to see. So when we are called to be salt and light, we need to live responsibly in a way that we reflect who God is. We reflect the nature of God. So we hold this responsibility to make the right choices to put, us, to put us forward in these directions. This can happen either through a choice to accept the ways of the world for the sake of comfort or convenience or to keep the Word of God in obedience to Christ. May we stand to be responsible individuals, to be responsible children of God who shows His light and is the salt to those around us because there is a world that's watching. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we take on this responsibility of being salt and light to a world that is dying, to a world that is dark. We pray, God, that by your Holy Spirit, you will empower us, you will work within us, Lord. You will help us, Lord, to live holy, blameless and righteous lives, not on our own, but by your grace alone. May we take this seriously. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.